I love gambling. After taking a break from Minecraft and losing thousands of dollars online gambling, I've thought, dude, wouldn't it be wild if I made a working slot machine? In Minecraft, of course. And so the slot machine idea was born. What I want to do is create a system where the player can bet tokens and win diamonds. But the most important part is having this working display on the front where it's going to cycle through all three of these blocks. And if the player is able to match all three in a row, then the player will win a prize. One slot machine shell later. The piston V tape on the other hand is looking a little bit large, but that is perfectly okay because it does exactly what we need it to do. And that is send a single pulse through and switch one of these blocks. So if I go ahead and press this button, you'll see that it's going to switch to the gold and it's going to cycle through exactly like that. And it's actually relatively quick as well, which is a very nice benefit. Editor Ben here. Remember when I said it was quick? Yeah, that doesn't last very long. Three V-tapes later and the odds of the game now calculated. Now the way I see it, I have two options. I can either build one randomizer and have each one of these slots cycle on their own, meaning that this slot would cycle through, then this slot, then this slot, and then we would see if we won. Or I could build three randomizers and have each of these slots cycle at the same time. And to me, that's just so much cooler. So I think that's the option we're going to go with. And the randomizer we're going to be using is actually going to use shulker boxes with a varying number of wooden swords inside them to give us a comparator output between 1 and 11. And then we're going to remove the shulker box, return it to its system, and that is actually what I'm working on right now. And after juicing my brain for basically everything it's got, we now have a randomizer that will generate a value between 1 and 8. 8? I thought we were doing 11. Well, um, uh, th th this is a lot easier. <laughs> And when I say easier, I mean so much easier, like hours worth of work easier, so it's definitely worth it. I've gone ahead and replaced the last three blocks in each of these piston V-tapes with copper blocks. That way the V-tape functions the exact same, but it really has no significance to the slot machine. And I suppose I could show you how this works. All we have to do is send a signal to this block right here. We go ahead and click the button. It's going to shoot out a shulker box. We got one signal, which was randomized. If we go ahead and press it again, we'll get a different signal. There we go. We got our second one. Press it again. We'll get the fourth one and all that fun stuff. But as you can see, we are currently generating a rand. I want something over there. So, it I oh, my God. Why are they all so close? Give me a farther one. Farther. You guys saw that, right? Things are getting big, guys. Big, but very dense. And most importantly, it's working now. So what we have to do is we have to press the button or our input. It's going to generate a random number, in this case, one. You'll see that this clock is now started and also this redstone line is depowering this redstone torch under here, which is allowing items to go back into the dropper. Currently, that clock runs forever, so we need a system to turn it off and I'm thinking we connect it up to our piston V-tape output, meaning that every time a signal goes all the way through the system, it's going to send a signal down this line which will then reset all of these pistons. That's going to push every one of those blocks back up, which is going to stop every one of our clocks. It's also going to retract this piston right here, and that is going to make us that when we are ready to repower this redstone torch, we can then push this block of redstone back. And the time we're going to do that is once we are ready to reset everything with a system reset and just return it to the defaults. A few minor tweaks here and there, and it is completely done now. This randomizer is now working, so now it's time to build two more of them. Two, I need two more randomizers, guys. If you would have showed me this at the beginning of the video, I, I probably would have laughed. Now I'm crying. Um, Editor Ben here again. Yeah, uh, this is nothing compared to the end. <laughs> In order to reset the display, we're going to have to cycle back to the default state. So what I'm thinking is we're going to have a chest here with 11 items. And then every time an item gets passed through, so whatever random number we generate, that's how many items will be drip fed from this chest down here. Meaning that whatever remaining items are in this top chest, that's how many more times it has to cycle to reset. And oh my god, was that easier said than done. Guys, it is 3 in the morning. It has been 3 hours since I recorded the last clip. It's been a lot of work. And just to throw salt on the wounds, this is the culprit of all of my headaches. This stupid repeater is chilling here, locking this hopper, meaning that all of the items are held inside this chest, which means this comparator is always on, which means the system is always on. And if I saw that repeater, oh my god, so many hours would have been saved. It is 4.30 in the morning. I cannot explain to you how many times I have tore down this circuit. And the reason why is because this chest needs one more item. And just like that, it's working because there's always an item locked inside the hopper. So it was short one cycle. I've been dealing with this problem for like two hours.
I promise this is the last time I'll mention it, but I have been playing Minecraft since 3 p.m. yesterday. It's 7 in the morning. I can hear the birds chirping. I've been playing Minecraft for 16 hours. Editor Ben here back again. Um, 16 hours is like <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Same day, still no sleep. I actually got something working for once. This pink circuit was just really easy to build for some reason. I'm just gonna take it as a win because nothing has been easy the last couple hours. But this is the state machine, so it's gonna be on or off. Currently it is off, so this is the default state for the machine. If we come over here though, and we turn this lever on, meaning that the player has played the game, this is temporary of course, that is then going to switch the state to be on, and nothing down here has happened yet. In order for anything to happen, we actually need to randomize a number. This is going to be the first time I test it, guys. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, so the signal comes through. It generates a random number. In this case, it is 7, which is absolutely wonderful. If we come down here, you will see that the items are going to... I need to replace that barrel. Guys, not only do I need to replace the barrel, but I actually can't find the items that were dropped. So I don't even know if they were dropped. False alarm, everyone, false alarm. Uh, I'm just silly, and I use the same item for testing. So there, there was actually enough items. That, that is accurate. There were supposed to be seven nether quartz. And for my mental sanity, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of those. Attempt number two. We're going to press the button, and it's going to spit out a random number. In this case, it was one. It's going to start the clock, which is all good and well. If we come over here, it should have run through once, which means that there should be one item missing inside of this chest. Or two, that works as well. Or three. That's also fine. Yeah. All right. I got some work to do. I forgot to turn the farm on, guys. Attempt number three with the farm on. All we're going to do is press the button. It's going to shoot out a random number, in this case, seven. It is then going to count out the items so the clock is moving as we speak. It's now been reset because it's gone through once, meaning that all of the items were dispensed. If we go ahead and look in this chest, you'll see that these items, or more specifically the magma cream, is going to be counting down until we get four magma cream. And just like that, it will no longer flow in. You'll just saw the last tick there. That was the last piston V-tape output, meaning that this is currently locked. So the feature of this is that means that because we have it locked here, we're actually able to hold the display of the results of the slot machine on the display. And then when the player is ready to reset it, all they do is press the button again, and then it will reset everything. So as you can see here, if we come down here quick enough, it is currently counting down the items. It's going to count down one more or two more, sorry. And then if we come over here and take a quick look, I'm just going to quickly try and point. So that was shot up, which means that this piston is going to get reset, which is then going to reset all of this. That, that was a lot. I don't think I can get this all in one shot. Oh, I forgot the most important part. At the end of the day, we have 11 magma cream. So the entire system is reset, meaning that all we have to do is press the button again with the farm on. I'm currently just in the process of linking everything up and I've run into a bit of a headache, and that is this piston V-tape. It works when I use a wooden button, but it doesn't work with the pulse that the machine makes. So with a wooden button, it cycles through one block exactly as it should. But with the pulse, it doesn't even move. So I think I'm going to have to add a pulse extender that is the same duration as a wooden button. Oh my god, guys, I just got a display working. This is actually so cool three annoying displays later. I don't know if it's the 20 hours of Minecraft I've played or if it's the fact I've stayed up for so long, but oh my god, guys, I'm getting scared. There is like literally no room for me to build anymore, and it's not me just saying that. I have circuits on circuits. These pistons, they're like almost interacting with blocks. I need to somehow connect all of these droppers up to the button, but where, where am I supposed to connect it? Where am I? I have to fit, I have to fit a sorting system in here to do the, the, the diamonds. I've decided the sorting system is a later problem that is definitely, definitely, definitely a bad idea, but this is what I've decided to do. But like, seriously, this, <laughs> this is the easiest one I've done. And look how disgusting it is. Come over here. This thing is just, I don't, I actually, I genuinely don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know what to do. It climbs up this wall and then there's a redstone torch, a redstone torch, a redstone line, a redstone line, and then the grass. And then if we come underneath, there's all this garbage. There is literally nowhere for me to build. Boys, I've done it. I have found our passage. We are going to run a redstone line directly through here. I want redstone line blocks. Also, is it weird that I'm like thoroughly enjoying this? I'm still having an absolute blast. Could it be built better? Yeah, probably. Could it be designed better? Oh, also, probably, yeah. But it is ready for testing.
no, no, it's not. I, uh, I need to make a copy of the world. My hard drive is just full of copies of this world at this point. If we go ahead and press this button, though, this is the activator button. Are we ready, guys? All right, three, two, one. Well, if that isn't the most anticlimactic thing I've ever seen, is it even running? Oh, uh, that looks like it's doing. Oh, 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 guys! <gasps> oh my God, it's doing the thing. Uh, th they're not synced, but I honestly don't think I can fix that. Is it gonna stop? Uh, that is. Um, uh, <laughs> guys, I, I wired something wrong. That definitely shouldn't have gone around the whole time. You know, just kind of dancing around and looking at what's going on, I think what happened is the monostable circuit I built over here that is supposed to activate everything sent out way, way, way too quick of a pulse, but I still have to fact check that. You know, color coding your lines is actually super useful because I was able to backtrack to find out where the redstone line led and we'll just, yeah, it doesn't really go anywhere. This is an issue. And why exactly would there be a shulker box here? Oh, wow. That's crazy. Good thing I made a copy. You know, this actually makes so much more sense because this is the block that we had the button on. I don't know, I don't know why I decided to change it. It, it worked, I should have just left it. And with that small fix, we're gonna go for attempt number two, go ahead and press the button and it should start up right away. Um, by right away, I mean like in 10 seconds or so. No, no. I don't think you guys understand how hard bug testing this thing is. There is absolutely nowhere to fly to. Oh my God, guys, I wasn't resetting them. They're always off. They need to be on. I'm not even changing it. And honestly, it should be as simple as just connecting a redstone line to my monostable circuit, which would then push this redstone block, which would then make the farm turn on. And that should work. Five more copies of the world and a couple of repeaters later. Guys, it's backwards. It's backwards, guys. This should be powering this piston. Wow. I'm sensing there's something wrong here. And that problem would be as simple as me making copies of the world, so of course I'm gonna get the same outcome every single time, and in this case, that is eight. But, uh, oh, whoa. I gotta redo that, I think it just worked. False alarm, false alarm, I, I, didn't, I didn't press the button. It was just chilling there, because that's the default state. Also, in 12 minutes, I have officially been playing Minecraft for 24 hours straight. I've just been working on this project for 24 hours straight. At this point, I'm just recording because I don't even know. It's... Ah... <sighs> this is fun. I hate you. You are my worst enemy. Every time I see the emerald block, I just know it doesn't work. This isn't necessarily the worst spot to be in, though, because I know that this system right here is locked meaning that it hasn't emptied the chest down there, which counts back the items. So it is actually staying still. So I think it's just timings. Hey, let's go, it worked. I replaced it and now it is lined up with the other one. And this one is two off for some reason because it should be right here. Oh, found one. Oh, found another. Nope, there's definitely something more to it. I got it working, but in possibly the weirdest way. I have absolutely no clue on the logic of this. I'm assuming chunk borders possibly. But all I did was move this repeater two blocks over. It used to be here, now it's here, and now it works. So, I don't know. Speaking of it working, to say we have lag might be an understatement. That actually might not be lag. That might just be my really misorganized inputs. That definitely looks chaotic, though. It's beautiful. They're in sync. They should all spin to eight. So, the front of the screen should all be copper. And then it should stay. There we go. And then it should stay, or it'll do one more. I'm not sure there we go yeah dude guys we did it we have a display that's it that that's all we have this is just the display that is so much work for the display oh my god <laughs> oh wait it's not done it has to reset <laughs> and getting it to reset should hopefully be really easy i'm hoping all i have to do is slap a repeater in each of these streams i'm thinking this redstone line might be a little bit long so hopefully this works. I have absolutely no care in the world where those go as long as it carries the signal, but that should work now. And now we wait. That should be its final state. So it should switch on. All of these redstone blocks should get pushed across very shortly if they haven't already. None of them are getting pushed. Well then, uh, what's going on in here? Oh, that might actually be the issue. That might be way, way, way too tall. What the heck? I went and put a test down there. That doesn't work? Since when? 
Since when? There we go. Okay. Well, that's stupid. With the pistons modified, it's time to try it again, so we're gonna press the button. I would pay such good money right now for this to be slightly faster. You don't understand how many times I've watched those gold bars disappear. But it's good. That That's good. That's exactly what I should have done. So now this redstone line should have unpowered, but it didn't. Why? Huh? Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Oh my god, of course. The repeater is running in... Oh my... Okay. Okay, well, one jerry-rigged fix later, and this is where we're at. So that did move the redstone block, which then made it into the reserve mode. Yeah, those are the emerald blocks. The one time I want to see you guys. I, I wanted to see three of you guys. The oh, no, no. Uh... Huh. I have two slots working. They did their cycle on the random number, and then they reset afterwards. This one isn't resetting which means it is time to play I Spy. Do you see a missing piece of redstone? 15 minutes of the world's best I Spy game later. Boop. 26 and a half hours later. This is what we have. This makes me laugh. It is so stupid. Look, it's, it's all over the place. And with that, it should be completely working. I feel like I've said that a billion times but I genuinely believe it this time. If we go ahead and press the button, do our forever wait, and I will uh, cut to when it is cycling. All right, it's just finishing up now. Is it gonna do one more? It did indeed. Is that eight? I feel like that's nine. It is nine. What? I must have been messing around down here because for some reason, all of these timers are completely off, like wildly off. I don't think I touched a single repeater. I know I said that I went and looked for an hour, but clearly not hard enough because all of these need to be on four ticks. That's why those pistons aren't firing. This comparator is barely even getting registered. Guys, I made another silly. Boom. Yeah. My brain is entirely mush. Button. Huh. Wait. Huh? Inspect the masterpiece. Huh. Wait. Huh? Appreciate good work. Huh? Wait. Waiting. Huh? Inspect the masterpiece. Huh. Wait. Huh. Appreciate good work. Huh? Wait. Huh? Huh? I'm still waiting. Now that I've released all my silly, goofy moods, I am ready to continue building. But I kind of forgot what I was doing. Oh, I remember. I was trying to make it so that this repeater thingy works. Okay. Buttons. Testing buttons everywhere. Buttons on this piston. Buttons on that piston. Buttons on this piston. No, not that one. Right here. All right, let's go. Push this one. Yeah, that one's done. Push the, oh yeah, by the way, this has already run through, so this is fine. Push this one. And finally, push this one. Hey, it worked. Yo, that's sick. All right, but I didn't do anything. Huh. Oh, wait, the farm already reset itself. It didn't reset this, but it did push the redstone block back. It has something to do with this. No big deal at all. I simply removed probably the most important line of redstone in this entire thing, the state machine. One brain dead idea later, let's go ahead and start this guy. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe my game was just so overwhelmed with what was going on that it needs to load less. So graphics down, render distance down. So we're gonna see what happens. Look at those graphics, man. They changed absolutely nothing about the machine. In fact, it made it worse. It made these two broken, which makes me think that maybe like one more repeater tick on each of these would fix the problem or one less. But it has to be very, it's a very small change. Don't worry guys, 2010 Minecraft was not here to stay. Oh, wow, no promises this works whatsoever. But this pink circuit here is actually a monostable circuit, so that way when the farm is turned off and I'm emptying the chests, I wanted it to run through once to jumpstart the system, but I don't think we need that. I think I have fixed that without even thinking about it, so I'm just going to temporarily disconnect these and then go ahead and test it. Wait. Nope, nope, not doing that again. Hooray! It's working, guys! Look! We have our emeralds in the right spot, that's three away from the center line, which means we scored eight on all of them, which is what we should have scored, um, but I don't, why is, uh, and of course, we all saw it coming, the pink circuit. 
<laughs> it's gotta go back. And actually, my idea was just proof by that clip, because this slot reset after I broke and replaced that redstone dust, meaning that I need to have a system that only allows it to go through sometimes. I'm not sure what the conditions are right now. Again, I'm very brain dead. Oh yeah, I haven't given me an update in a while. It's 6 p.m. <laughs> I feel like if I ever got death threats, th this would be why. I'm running it through circuits and in between circuits because I want to have this all the way over here. Oh, that is so much worse. It did reset on itself. Not very well. It didn't even reset itself. This block is still here, which means that it fired, but it never got pushed out by the reset button. So it never got reset. So something else is up. When all else fails, try again. Button. I have no clue what's going on, so I am just gonna keep making copies and testing random ticks. Oh, I also went back to every slot being eight. It just makes my life a lot easier. It's easier to know the outcome of your machine if you know, you know the inputs. I found our issue. Whenever you press the button, for some reason, this system comes on. So if I can figure out a way to not do that, I think it should work. I'm so confused why this wasn't an issue earlier. Whenever an item enters this comparator, it pushes this redstone block up here, which is our issue. And that's exactly what it should do once it runs out of items, not once it gets items and it was working earlier. It definitely, okay, I'm just, I'm lost. Guys, I don't think I'm finishing this in one sitting. It has been 28 and a half hours. It is currently 7 p.m. I started playing Minecraft at 3 p.m. yesterday. I think I'm gonna go to bed or at the very least take a break and go do something. New day, new me, new ideas. And new piston V-tapes. The old one had to go. It used observers, which was sending a double pulse, making the entire system super chaotic. Um, this actually works now, so it will just send one loop through instead of spamming the pistons. I didn't know where to go from here, so I went back and watched a couple of my clips, and the clip I recorded right before I decided to take a break yesterday was so funny because I was confused as to why the blocks of redstone were moving up there, changing the state of the machine. It's because as soon as an item from the randomizer went into this hopper, it would change states. So I've gone ahead and added this circuit in here. Now I've only gone ahead and set up one of the slots to work, so the other two are currently broken, but this one is counting down, so in a second it should stop cycling, which that comparator right there will turn off, and that is exactly what should have happened. The items are no longer flowing out of the chest, that was our last signal. If I come over here and take a look, the T flip-flop is on, the piston is extended, the signal is being carried, and if we come up here, the block of redstone is hopefully moved, and it is. Everything is working as it should, so now I just have to duplicate this on the other two. And with those small fixes, it is now time to test the entire display. All right, the cycle has just finished. It rotated eight times. Then the state machine has activated, so it should start switching any second here. There we go. That's nine. Should do two more. That should be ten. Yeah, come on. One more, guys. One more. Okay, and now it should be done. And it reset itself. Oh my goodness. Guys, the only thing that needs to change is these pistons aren't getting pushed back. That's the only thing. It's working. And that should be as easy as adding in a monostable circuit right here because that is going to push the piston up there, which would then relocate the redstone block. The piston doesn't always need to be active as long as the redstone block is moved. And then it would retract the piston, allowing the reset piston to reset the block. This should work. I've also had to change out the T flip-flops I was using. The dropper T flip-flop is very inconsistent, so I replaced it with these pistons. All right, it's about to reset, and there we go. That is the final reset state, so this should come off, which it is, which is actually the entire thing. That's what we were looking for. These redstone blocks have been moved back to their original spot which means that we could just press the button again and it should work. 3 a.m. me had a rough time because of course this dropper elevator isn't gonna work. I ended up clicking the button again and there is still an item inside of this dropper. And that's because this dropper and this dropper get powered at the same time. Two hours of minor changes later. To say that this is just the display is a bit of an understatement because what we have to do now is make it so that it actually knows what it scored. If it rolled an eight, it needs to know that it rolled an eight. That way we can actually see if they matched up a line. So I'm thinking we're going to do basically the same thing that we did for the randomizer and we're going to have the droppers attached to these redstone torches which are then going to spit out shulker boxes similar to up here and then it's going to determine whether it's copper, gold, or emerald. And while building that circuit I came to a conclusion that if the emerald block is on display and it's like this it's actually impossible to win the jackpot. So I've gone ahead and remapped all of the blocks 
so that the front of the screen when it's off is all copper. I think that makes more sense. I'm also going to have to send an extra pulse through the system, so that way it pushes blocks down without counting items in the chest. And then I'm also going to have to remove an item, so then there's 10 items in the chest. That is really hokey, but it should work. Not even 15 minutes later. And work it did. It is on the default setting, the extra pulse worked, and I also added 10 items to the chest. What isn't working, however, is if we come down here, the counter that determines if it's gold and copper and stuff, this slot is just firing for absolutely no reason. Unless this is firing, but it isn't, because if it was, that wouldn't work. I was about three seconds away from ripping my hair out. I have tested absolutely everything, and it is the stupidest problem. Without getting into it, basically what's happening is no matter the number generated, this first slot is having the tiniest, quickest pulse pass through it, it is so quick, in fact, that the dropper right here actually can't drop its item, but it does have enough time to turn this redstone torch off, messing this system up. Yet another janky fix, but it does work, so this is fully functioning now. We did spin 8 on all of them, like we have been, and 8 is gold, so it gave us the second output, meaning it works, guys. So I have to build this two more times on both of these randomizers, and we're actually getting there. As of right now, I have spent... 38 hours building this machine. It is 3.30 in the morning on Saturday. This video goes out in six and a half hours and I still have to finish building it, recording and editing and uploading it in six and a half hours. Wish me luck. You know, I really try not to swear in videos, but this deserves it. What the actual fuck? I have been dealing with this problem for almost seven hours. I shit you not. All the work I've done over the last seven hours. At some point, I did a test. I didn't copy the world properly, and that redstone block was pushed out. Ah! What was that noise? Of course it worked. Of course, it works now, guys. It's seven hours, because I copied the world wrong. Guys, it's time to get lazy. I have worked on this project for 42 hours. I've been trying to fix this problem for eight hours. It's time to just get rid of the problem. Instead of randomizing eight numbers, we're only going to randomize seven. So one, no longer an option because it is just causing me way too many headaches, which means that my hours of work can be removed. This is a bittersweet victory. This was actually a pretty cool contraption. Didn't work, but it looked cool. But just by removing the option of spinning one, everything is working now. As you can see, all of these systems are outputting that gold has been spun because, of course, everything is set up to eight and eight is gold. Is there a more compact way of building this? Almost certainly. However, it works, so it's staying. I also have so much space because I just can clear the floor. It is currently 9.57 in the morning. This video is supposed to go out at 10. Don't think I'm going to make it. Three minutes is a bit tough. So I'm thinking of cutting the video down a bit, and instead of having the different payouts, it's only going to be at one payout. If you win, you win. But of course, this world is available for downloads, so if you do decide that you want to download it and add the different payouts, go right ahead. I made it that way, I separated all the lines for you, and I gave you redstone torches, so it should be relatively easy, uh, just not with three minutes. I'm obviously exaggerating, this video did not go to 10. And the very last thing that we have to do is put our diamonds in which I didn't grab. And with the diamonds now secure, we are ready to test out the entire system. So I've set this up so that this slot is going to land on two, this one's gonna land on six, and this one is gonna land on eight. That way I can show you that they're all random, but I still want to win. And don't worry, I'm not gonna make you sit here for 20 seconds watching and spin, I'll do time lapse. Uh, no wonder it's taken me 45 hours, guys. That took a minute and a half to cycle through, but it worked. Guys, this is like real life. I'm removing homes so I can build a casino. You know, this video was supposed to go out an hour ago, so I really shouldn't be messing around with things, but I just couldn't help myself. I had this idea since I started. Oh my god, I love it. I can choose the floor. I want to be able to see my redstone. Oh wait, no I don't. Oh, it's beautiful. And th really, the only reason I made this is because it's going to be a world download. I'm not really sure how to end a 49-hour project. Um, this took a lot of effort. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe, leave a like, uh, just anything. 40, 49 hours.
Just in case I forgot, World Download will be on my Discord.